Let's list off the top baseball cards sold on eBay between June 16th to July 17th. At number 25, a PSA 9 graded 1989 Pro Cards Keith Comstock card, selling for $132 after 11 bids on July 12th. Current Pop show five cards of the highest grade of PSA 9. You can pick up a box for $50. At number 24, a PSA 10 graded 1989 Upper Deck Randy Johnson Star Rookie Card, selling for $136 after 35 bids on July 28th. Current Pop show 5,080 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. At number 23, a PSA 10 graded 1987 Don Russ Bo Jackson Rated Rookie Card, selling for $139 after 23 bids on July 8th. Current pops show 1,421 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $120. At number 22, a PSA 10 graded 1992 Panini Stickers Cal Ripken Jr. Foil Card, selling at $152 after 20 bids on July 8th. Current pops show 9 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $30. At number 21, a PSA 9 graded 1994 Upper Deck SP Foil Alex Rodriguez Rookie Card, selling for $175 after 10 bids on June 16th. Current pops show 59 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $300. At number 20, a PSA 9 graded 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card, selling for $182 after 42 bids on June 23rd. Current pops show 4,088 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $450. At number 19, a PSA 10 graded 1987 Topps Barry Bonds rookie card, selling at $197 after 41 bids on June 19. Current pops show 1,577 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $45. At number 18, a PSA 8.5 graded 1984 Fleer Update Roger Clemens rookie card, selling for $205 after 12 bids on July 9th. Current pops show 587 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $399. At number 17, a PSA 10 graded 1990 Don Russ Baseball's Best Larry Walker Rookie Card, selling for $207 after two bids on May 10th. Current pops show 33 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $11. At number 16, a PSA 10 graded 1993 Score Select Derek Jeter Rookie Card, selling for $214 after 31 bids on July 6th. Current pop show 496 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $78. At number 15, a PSA 10 graded 1995 Bowman Andrew Jones rookie card selling for $217 after 34 bids on July 18th. Current pop show 372 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $375. At number 14, a PSA 10 graded 1990 Score Black and White Bo Jackson card, selling for $283 after 11 bids on July 14th. Current pops show 3,011 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $40. At number 13, a PSA 10 graded 1989 Don Russ Greg Maddox rookie card, selling for $289 after 31 bids on June 18th. Current pop show 2,650 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can pick up a box for $120. At number 12, a PSA 10 graded 1993 Topps Derek Jeter draft pick rookie card, selling at $294 after 14 bids on June 26th. Current pop show 3,394 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can pick up a box for $100. At number 11, 
a PSA 10 graded 1997 Topps Derek Jeter card, selling at $297 after 29 bids on June 16. Current pops show 310 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $45. At number 10, a PSA 10 graded 1986 Don Rus Jose Canseco rated rookie card, selling at $338 after 37 bids on June 6. Current pop show 751 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $200. At number 9, a PSA 10 graded 1985 Don Russ Roger Clemens rookie card, selling for $340 after 24 bids on June 5th. Current pops show 579 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You could buy a box for $389. At number 8, a PSA 8 graded 1993 SP Derek Jeter foil rookie card, selling for $340 after 7 bids on June 27. Current pop show 21 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $100. At number 7, a PSA 10 graded 1987 Fleer Glossy Barry Bonds rookie card, selling for $341 after 31 bids on June 18. Current pop show 1,271 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You could pick up a box for $80. At number 6, a PSA 9 graded 1991 Topps Kirby Puckett Desert Shield card, selling for $360 after 44 bids on June 18. Current pop shows 17 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $35. At number 5, a PSA 8 graded 1986 Topps Traded Tiffany Bo Jackson Rookie Card, selling for $376 after 3 bids on June 18. Current pops show 37 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $39. At number 4, a PSA 10 graded 1984 Topps Don Mattingly Rookie Card, selling for $730 after 30 bids on June 19. Current pops show 907 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can pick up a box for $290. At number 3, a PSA 10 graded 1991 Topps Tiffany Traded Ivan Rodriguez Base Set Card, selling for $765 after 43 bids on July 6. Current pops show 185 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $35. At number 2, a PSA 10 graded 1985 Topps Roger Clemens card, selling at $941 after 37 bids on June 19. Current pops show 361 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can pick up a box for $250. And finally, at number one, a PSA 10 graded 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Star Card, selling for $2,027 after 24 bids on June 18. Current pop show 4,085 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10. You can buy a box for $450. And now for the bonus cards. Starting us off, a PSA 9 graded 1986 Topps Traded Bo Jackson Rookie Card, selling for $148 on July 8th after 26 bids. Current pops show 1,129 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes listed at $39. Up next, a PSA 9 graded 1988 Topps Tiffany Tom Glavin rookie card selling for $42 on July 17th after 18 bids. Current pops show 57 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes listed at $15. Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1993 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. card selling for $66 after 10 bids on July 16th. Current pops show 295 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes listed at $100. Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1992 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. card selling for $66 after 15 bids on July 16. Current pops show 372 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes listed at $39. Up next, 
a PSA 10 graded 1991 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. card selling for $89 after 11 bids on July 16th. Current pop show 341 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes listed at $35. Up next, a PSA 8 graded 1985 TCMA Fred McGriff rookie card selling for $100 after 30 bids on July 16th. Current pop show 10 cards of the highest grade of PSA 10. Up next, a FCG 8.5 graded 1991 Upper Deck Michael Jordan rookie card, selling for $41 after 23 bids on June 17th, with boxes selling for $49. Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1991 Bowman Chipper Jones rookie card, selling for $105 after 34 bids on July 13th. Current pop show 1,791 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $44. Up next, a PSA 8 graded 1985 Topps Mark McGuire 1984 USA Baseball Team rookie card, selling for $51 after 21 bids on July 13th. Current pop show 306 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling at $250. Up next, an ungraded 1992 Fleer Update Mike Piazza rookie card, selling for $51 after five bids on July 14th, with boxes selling for $17. Up next, an ungraded 1988 Top Series 2 Corbin Carroll rookie jersey relic card, selling for $34 after seven bids on July 13th. You can buy a box for $19. Up next, a PSA 7 graded 1993 SP Foil Derek Jeter short print rookie card, selling for $158 after 23 bids on July 7th. Current pop show 21 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $100. Up next, PSA 9 graded 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Star Rookie Card, selling for $163 after 11 bids on June 23rd. Current pop show 4,088 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $450. Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1989 Don Russ Baseball's Best Nolan Ryan card, selling for $34 after 13 bids on July 16th. Current pop show 64 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $39. Up next, an ungraded 1990 Don Russ Ellie De La Cruz jersey relic selling for $62 after 19 bids on July 15th, with boxes selling for $11. Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1989 Topps Tiffany Barry Larkin card selling for $32 after 11 bids on July 15th. Current pop show 21 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $39. Up next, a Beckett 9.5 graded 1992 Bowman Mike Piazza rookie card selling for $56 after 12 bids on July 16th, with boxes selling for $399. Up next, a PSA 9 graded 1987 Leaf Greg Maddox rookie card selling for $89 after 10 bids on June 27th. Current pops show 498 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10 with boxes selling for $500. Up next, a PSA 9 graded 1992 Bowman Mariano Rivera rookie card selling for $95 after six bids on June 19th. Current pop show 1,544 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $399. Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1993 score Derek Jeter rookie card selling for $110 on July 6th after 17 bids. Current pop show 2,108 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $75. Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1987 Don Russ Rookies Mark McGuire card selling for $100 after 16 bids on June 21st. Current pop show 145 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $120. 
Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1990 Bowman Tiffany Juan Gonzalez rookie card selling for $92 after 20 bids on July 9. Current Pop show 213 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $35. Up next, a PSA 6 graded 1993 SP Foil Derek Jeter rookie card selling for $119 after four bids on July 1st. Current Pop Show 21 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $78. Up next, a PSA 10 graded 1993 Topps Traded Todd Helton Rookie Card selling for $113 on June 21st after 18 bids. Current Pop Show 1,182 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes listed at $100. And finally, a PSA 10 graded 1989 Upper Deck Nolan Ryan card, selling for $47 on June 28th after nine bids. Current Pop Show 585 cards at the highest grade of PSA 10, with boxes selling for $450.